spend my rambling years I paid my sins from the poor traveling days Oh Lord, please, can you hear my prayers? So I wrote my body Hey everybody, it's Joe. Um, today we're going to be working on the chicken guillotine. I, I mean the chicken door uh, for the coop. My wife calls it a chicken guillotine. You'll see why in a moment. Um, but that's what we're going to try to get done today. Um, working in the shop. It's blazing hot in here. Uh, my shop is made of metal, has no insulation and no air conditioning. So uh, it's a little warm in here. But still, this is what we got to get done. So we're going to get it done. Let's go take a look at it. All right, so the door itself is a piece of quarter inch aluminum. And really that's about the only thing I bought for this project. Uh, the rest of it's gonna be made mostly out of scraps. So I've taken a piece that's about one inch thick, about an inch and a half wide, and I've cut a groove in it um, about, what is it? Uh, 300 thousandths, no. 280 thousandths uh, deep and um, just a little over a quarter inch wide, enough to give it some, some tolerances there so that it can slide up and down. And I've done that on two sides. And the door is going to slide up and down in this track, hence the guillotine, right? So there's gonna be a track on either side and it's going to slide up and down, pulled up and down by a piece of cable. I'll show you how that works. Later. Okay, so let's see where that puts us. Did we hit our magic 10 inch? Did we not? One way to find out. All right. And our measurement is dum da dum. 10 inches, good deal. And if it seemed to you like I was getting a little bit lax with my PPE, uh, that's because I was, so don't do that. Um, there's nothing like sawing aluminum uh, to kind of get your attention quick if you do that. Um, by the way, this is a carbide tip, tip blade, so it is perfectly acceptable to cut aluminum with it. Uh, it's not a problem. It'll dull your blade a little bit faster than wood will, but aside from that, it's fine. Okay, so first thing we've got to do is ease these corners a little bit. I'm going to just go ahead and ease all four because uh, what we don't want is these gouging into our, our channels. So we're going to ease these just a little bit. They don't have to be like completely rounded over. They just need to be eased a little bit so it's not quite such a sharp edge. hot in here last night. It is steaming in here tonight. So the next thing I need to do is to build a cross piece for the top. Um, it's going to be one inch thick and huh, 12 and 7 eighths inch. Is that right? No, that would be nice, but that's not quite right. 12 and 13 sixteenths long. So let's rip it down. Let's rip it down 12 and 13 sixteenths.
I'm going to be using 332nd cable to attach to the top of the door. So I'm going to mark mark this piece of aluminum just a little bit more than a quarter from the top. The actual depth isn't that big of a deal, but where I place it on you know on the, along this line is because I want it to be lifting equally from one side as the other to keep that door from binding. First thing is to make our center loop. And I'll use my handle and a nice heavy set of pliers. I'd like to have a, uh, a set of crimpers. Man, they're expensive. Good pair is going to cost you 50 bucks. This isn't pretty and supposedly it's not as secure, but I've always found it to work. Now the first one's not critical, but the second one, just like drilling the holes, has to be the same length as the first one to give us even pull. Well, it's there. We'll find out if that's, uh, if that's gonna work once we get it on there. I'm gonna crimp that down just a little better once I get this cut off. Okay, ready for glue up here. So, a couple of things to note here. First of all, using Tight Bond 3 glue, waterproof glue. Um, that's definitely what you wanna use in this situation. It's gonna be in a chicken coop. It's going to be, uh, probably have not very much weather, but a little bit of weather come in on it. So definitely waterproof glue. Second thing, this glue by itself is not gonna be enough for this joint. Um, there's some, pardon me. There's some mechanical reinforcement here because we've got this tongued joint, but that's not enough either. Um, so once we get this in clamps, and I'll show you what we're going to do. So let's tighten this up, see what that does for us. Nice, got some nice even squeeze out here. Almost. That's getting in there, but it's definitely not going to... It'll give me the reinforcement I need, but now I got a nail head sticking up out of there. All right, let's put one more in. I like that idea better. Let's cut it off and then drive the Remain down below with the nail set. Might have better luck with that.
<laughs> Do you want another one? <laughs> now this, I, I gotta show everybody this. This is what happens when you're making a chicken coop door for your wife. She brings you dinner in the shop so you don't have to stop working. Um, no, that's plenty, honey. Thank you. Okay. You can edit this out, but... Um, <laughs> no, no, there's no edits. No, no. Whatever you're going to say, that stays in. You would have had biscuits with your sausage gravy, but I, I made a mistake. <laughs> what happened? I used... Wait, 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 wait. No. Hold on, wait. No, I don't want... No. What happened? I put baking soda in instead of baking powder. And then the girls and I are sitting there and we're like, oh yeah, we're going to have biscuits gravy. So we're digging in and I made this like... She's like doing this with a napkin and it did not taste very good. It was very baking soda-ish. So, we gave it to the dogs and they okay. were really excited about that. Well, for the record. Uh... Okay, so you can see how this is gonna work, right? We're gonna put this frame on the inside of the uh, chicken house framing and this is going to have a cable attached to it that goes to the outside. You wanna lift up the door you pull on the cable, you hook the cable onto a uh, hook on the outside and it holds the door open. Pretty straightforward, but pretty cool. It's a nice little design. And the, the reason I built this is at some point, I hope to, uh, to be able to hook this all up to a Blackberry or Arduino, um, to a light sensor, and to a, an, a, a bell that basically rings before it lowers or opens the door, and turn this into an automated system. That's for down the road. I've got other things that need doing right now, but that's the, why, the reason I wanted to make it a guillotine, if you will, style chicken door. Get back, chickens. So the first thing we have to do is to attach the frame. Now that we've got the hole cut out, not much to it. Come in here a little bit if you wouldn't mind, love. I want you to see. So come in here. So if you can see here, we're just screwing it right into the studs that are already in there. And then just screwing it in. Make sure we're lined up right. It's too dark, I can't see like at all. Okay. Let me get one screw in and then we'll fix that. All right. And I'll show you what I mean by the chicken guillotine. You're going to think this is funny. Oh, I know what you're talking about now. I know what you're saying. It's like the um, doggy doors at the shelter. <laughs> well, I'm not familiar with them, but... Quite possibly. And before I go lefty, not my strong suit. Told you. <laughs> Hitting it about one out of five times. One out of four. Is low battery. Okay, let it turn it off. Okay, gonna try to film this and do it at the same time. Not an easy thing to do. Basically, just feeding the cable through here and to the outside. So you can see how this works. The cable comes in from the outside through a hole in the uh, sheathing through those three eye screws um, that hold it in line. Comes down here to this where it wise out and goes into these two holes in the top of the plate. And then everything slides up and down. Let's see if I can show you this. In the grooves, which are cut big enough so that if the wood expands uh, when it becomes more humid outside, 
I'll still have enough gap for it to slide smoothly and then it comes down and fits into that groove. Um, pretty good solution I think it's it's worked well and the chickens don't seem to mind it. Okay go ahead. So everybody's happy with the chicken door? Very nice. <laughs> Luna! Leave the chicken alone a minute. Leave, <laughs> leave the chicken alone a minute. Look here. <laughs> what? Are you happy with your chicken door? I am. It's very nice. Does it work for you? It keeps them safe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 